Gunmen in the Garden Benjamin The sun was setting when the men came by, carrying guns. I was taking care of goats outside our field of maize when people of different colors, brown and white, not all black like us, stared at me like cobras looking at mice. One talked. I couldn't understand his language. Another said something like, Leave him alone. He's a kid. He don't know about it. They left and went on toward my village. Before they reached my house, they began shooting. People scattered everywhere. Roofs went up in flames. I left our goats and ran to join my parents, but I couldn't get past the gunmen who stood in the middle of our yard. The village was destroyed. I hoped my parents had fled. I ran back into the bush to hide, afraid that the gunmen might come back and capture or kill me. I watched them kill our cattle, set the millet and sorghum fields on fire, destroy all the things that human life needs to survive. Darkness fell and everything grew quiet. I didn't know if it was safe to leave my hiding place. I waited until I heard the sound of people. I wanted to find my parents, but I had to be careful. Step by step, I went out onto the road. Where are you going, little boy? They spoke my language, but they looked like soldiers. Not knowing whether they were rebels or government men, I was ready to run back into the dark. I am going nowhere. Where are you going? They asked again. I'm going nowhere. I don't know where my mom has gone, and I don't know where my dad has gone. Go that way, they told me. You will find people over there. They let me go, and I followed their directions. Soon I met people moving along the way on the main road. I watched them one by one. There were lots of children, some my age, and I asked them, Did you see my family? They said, No, we are searching for our parents, too. After a while, I found my cousins, Lino and Emmanuel, in the crowd. I was happy to see them, but I really wanted my parents. Lino and Emmanuel were crying and searching for their parents, too. I joined them and we walked together in the dark. When we rested after a few hours, the elders came and told us, You kids, we have to leave right away. It's not safe to return to your homes. You must come with us. We agreed because we had to. Everybody walked day and night. I was so tired that I cried all the time. Nothing else was possible. I just staggered forward. Walking with Lino and Emmanuel and friends we met, everyone wept. After two days, we came to a town called Tonj. Crowds of people were moving around. My body hurt from walking for so long. Just when I most wanted to lie down in my house and be with my parents, I saw far down the street a boy sitting on a mat who looked like my cousin Benson. I was happy to see him because he was a little bit older than me and I thought he would know what we should do. Benson, I called out. He didn't hear me. He was sitting alone, thinking too much, thinking of his family. I yelled louder, Benson! He looked around once and didn't see me waving. He looked shocked.